Microsoft's last minute announcement right before pre-orders sets the record for highest video game purchase ever at $7.5 billion in cash. Intro first. Microsoft will be purchasing ZeniMax Media Incorporated, which owns Bethesda Softworks. They have produced games such as Elder Scrolls, Doom, Fallout, and have many more upcoming titles in their cards. Elder Scrolls became the top selling game of all time with a record 20 million copies. Xbox owns Minecraft, several other game studios that they picked up recently. This acquisition is the biggest. Sony has been working with Bethesda and have timed console exclusives for their PS5 like Deathloop and Ghostwire Tokyo that are both coming to the PS5. Microsoft will be honoring their exclusivity mainly because they have to at this point but has plans to release these games on Series X as well. Rumors are circulating that they could make all future Bethesda titles exclusive to only Xbox which is a lot of great top titles that sell really well. Xbox usually does end up playing nice with others as we've seen in the past with some great indie titles that work their way to the Switch and even the PS4. Minecraft is also available on both of these systems. Can Microsoft and Xbox brand play nice with others? Yes. Have they in the past? Yes as well. Will they? Maybe. Phil Spencer from Xbox said, We'll take other consoles on a case-by-case -case basis, which translates to some titles that will continue to be available everywhere, and others might either be full exclusive to Xbox or timed exclusive, meaning that they will release on Xbox first and eventually on the other systems. But we could eventually end up with games that are only on Xbox. Then again, they can do whatever they want to lock down anything as needed. Sony seems to be doing that with Spider-Man. They barely even allowed Spider-Man to be added to the Marvel movies universe. I mean, now we have a couple of movies. We've had him in the Avengers movies and his own spin-offs as well. But it did take a lot of negotiating with Sony because Sony is really holding on to Spider-Man. And unfortunately, we won't be seeing those games on either Switch or Xbox. And Microsoft could turn around and do the same with all of these brand new titles that are under their belt right now. Microsoft did say that Bethesda's structure and leadership will remain in place, so the great games will continue to be churned out from this great company. Exclusives or not, all companies should play nice with one another to benefit us, the gamers. That's it for your quick gaming news flash. Keep on gaming, take care, see you all in the next one.